guys so today we're going to talk about how to do interior lighting using visuals online platform so if you go to visual-3d.com which we'll link below um, and then we're just going to do interior lighting calculations today so visuals uh, interior lighting tool is really a box so that's the only thing that can do so it's really simple geometries um, if you have a pentagon or a circle or any other different shaped room, visual is not going to be able to do it. So what we start with is <clears throat> really the dimensions of the room. So we'll just keep this 30 by 20 uh, room with a 12 foot ceiling. Our work plane is two and a half feet. So this is typical for offices, um, really basically any room type where work is being done at a desk. Now if you are working um, or doing lighting calculations for a hallway or something where the work plane is like at the floor, uh, you'll want to change this to zero. Um, and then our ceiling type, let's just say we've got a two by four grid. Um, so room reflectances, these are pretty important. Um, a 80, 50, 20 is kind of the industry standard. Uh, this can go up to about 90 if you're doing a pure white reflective ceiling. Um, so talk to your architect on what type of ceiling is being put in. Um, again, this is just a pretty standard uh, reflectance for a typical uh, ACT ceiling. So walls, uh, 50 is a, again, pretty standard uh, reflectance number. So if you're going darker, that gets a dark black, a dark red, a brown, um, you might wanna lower that number. Again, you can check with your architect on or interior designer on what type of paint color, what paint type, and the reflectances that they're looking at uh, putting in there uh, as that can change the value. Floor 20 is basically like a polished concrete floor. So if you've got dark carpet, um, dark hardwood, you know, you might want to reduce that number as well. What this means and what these reflectance numbers have is uh, effectively the lower these numbers are, the means the more light fixtures you're going to have to have to achieve your foot candle criteria. Um, so just keep that in mind. Again, uh, check with your architect. I know paint colors not, aren't always finalized, so it's typically a pretty good idea to have this, you know, 50% um, in there. So the next thing, let's just say that this is um, really an office, so we want probably about 40 foot candles. And what will happen um, as we go through this and we pick our fixture is it'll do the layouts for you automatically. As you can see, we don't have a fixture yet. Um, so what we want to do now is pick a fixture. So this is the library. Um, so effectively based on what you're going to put in, um, it'll do that. So and this is all of Acuity Brands um, lighting selections. So you can do that. And if you kind of know what you want, um, you can go ahead and type that in. Usually it's a little quicker to do that. So let's just do um, the BLT fixture, um, a two by four and Let's look at, I don't really want a thousand lumens. Let's look at like a typical uh, 4,000 lumen fixture um, at 35 Kelvin. So again, you can see all the descriptions here. So it's a two by four uh, curved lens. Okay, so we go ahead and hit select on this fixture. And again, here's the layout and spacing as provided uh, by the lighting tool. It'll give you all your calculation results here. So it'll give you luminance, power density, quantity, the spacing, um, and then if you need the layout, the spacing layouts, you can do that. And again, this cube can be rotated. So I'm just moving my cursor here to rotate uh, the room. And you can click it here to get it to snap to this view. So those are your dimension offsets. Now, if you want to look at a different fixture, let's say we wanted a 2x2, two two, 30. So let's say we get a 2x2, two two, we want it 33, again, 3500 Kelvin. So 3300 lumens, 3500 Kelvin. Let's go ahead and select that. Here's our two by two. Let's say we do a two by two grid now. We'll space those accordingly in the two by two grid. And 
and here's our layout. So we can see that in this grid we have 12 fixtures at where we hit our illuminance of 45 foot candles, power density of 0.53 watts per square foot, and a quantity of 12 fixtures. Here we've got, and again the spacing changed a little bit with a 2x2 two two grid versus a 2x4 grid, um, 36 foot candles, 51 or 0.51 watts per square foot, nine fixtures. So again, this is a um, 3,500 lumen fixture, and this is a 3,200 lumen, 3,300 lumen fixture. And again, you can put down lights, whatever is in the QD brands. And then if you want or you have it, you can um, go and basically download any any IES file, uh, go search for it, load it. Um, and then look at maybe a competitor or something else to Acuity. But this is a simple, quick, and easy tutorial on how to use visual. Now if you have maybe something else where maybe it's not 40 foot candles, maybe you need 0.6 watts square foot, you know, here you go. Um, here's a simple, simple way to do that. Or let's say you need 0.4 watts a square foot. There's 0.4 watts um, and you know, 33 foot candles, 0.4, so this is a little under, and you got 24 foot candles. So um, you can basically pick and choose what um, factors you're using. So if you need 30 foot candles, um, it'll do that. So it's over here, and you see this got reduced 33. So again, quick, easy tutorial. Um, and you have a comparison here, pretty quick and dirty, on you know your fixture count, um, and gives you just simple layouts for, especially for uh, simple boxes, which a majority of rooms are. But it gives you a quick, quick and easy layout.